Next, a breakthrough waste disposal system that doesn't burn trash. It annihilates it. This idea is straight out of sci-fi. It blitzes garbage at temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun, but without burning it. And soon, it could be powering our homes. Chemical engineer Chris Chapman wants to unlock the gold mine in our garbage. He's pioneering a process that vaporizes our trash and recovers enough energy to power the cities of the future. We're actually seeing a paradigm shift in waste management where waste, in fact, is not being seen as waste, where the emphasis is on materials recycling and energy recovery. Chapman took inspiration from a technology that deals with the world's deadliest waste, contaminants from chemical weapons. The process, plasma gasification, mimics conditions on the surface of the sun. Into this high-tech furnace, engineers put our most hazardous waste. The extreme heat reduces these toxic compounds to their simple chemical elements. What's left? A solid slag in energy-rich gases. Chapman's big idea is to adapt this technology to zap household waste and use the resulting gases to make electricity. At an experimental plant in Wilshire, England, he takes on the challenge. After machines remove recyclables like glass and plastic, the trash arrives as shredded garbage. Business partner Jeremy Farthing shares Chapman's vision for making waste pay. What we're interested in is the nasty stuff that nobody wants anymore, that you've really got nothing else that you can do with it. But using plasma gasification to turn trash into free electricity has a drawback. The energy needed to destroy just one ton of garbage would power 700 homes for a whole year. The numbers just don't add up. Chapman needs to slash his energy bill. He hits on a big idea. Instead of running solid waste directly into the plasma unit, why not turn it into tiny particles first? Inside a 27-foot steel chamber, superheated steam and oxygen blast a sand bed at the base. The sand reaches 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit, grinding raw waste into vapor and ash without combustion. Garbage in, tiny particles out. Blasting the trash to bits should cut the energy needed for the next stage. The ultimate power of plasma. When the plasma arc converter starts up, it sends 650 volts between two electrodes, creating an electrical arc, like lightning. Direct and inert gas through this arc, and something extraordinary happens. It becomes a ferocious 18,000 degree Fahrenheit column of plasma. Plasma, known as the fourth state of matter, is rare on Earth. But out in the universe, it's everywhere. All stars contain matter in the form of plasma. And as stars do, Chapman's plasma column gives off immense heat and ultraviolet radiation. Chapman's team pumps the trash particles into the plasma column. The effect is spectacular. The UV and heat attack the more complex long-chain compounds, breaking them down. The result? A volatile, energy-laden gas. Its power-generating potential far outweighs the system's running costs. Chapman's two-stage process made plasma gasification a cost-effective way to turn trash into electricity. That was a fantastic moment. Truly, because we now knew we've got the process. And that really was very, very memorable. The gas cools. And after processing, it's ready for use in power generation. 
Chapman's dream is now a reality. A high-tech recycling system that turns trash into clean electricity. The test plant shows the system could generate five times more power than it takes to run. Chapman believes the process will work on a grand scale. If all the cities of the future use plasma plants to process their trash, they could slash toxic and greenhouse gas emissions. You're very aware of the legacy, the inheritance you're giving to the next generation. I do have a great sense of pride and achievement. And clean energy is not all our junk could deliver. Plasma gasification is already used to recover valuable platinum from old catalytic converters. The process turns junkyards and landfills from problems into potential gold mines. It is unique because it offers a total solution. You are able to treat pretty much any waste stream and create not only your electricity, but also we are wasting virtually nothing. Garbage to energy with near zero emissions. And trash turned into cash. We're now seeing really a revolution um, in the way waste is, is managed. In fact, soon maybe even the word waste will cease to exist.